Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Danny Davis. Thanks for the suggestion, Danny. You asked, what causes the sound of thunder? If you've ever been startled by a sudden earth-shaking boom from the sky, you might have wondered, what just happened up there? Is the sky throwing a tantrum? Did a cloud trip over something? Or is Zeus just showing off again? Well, today, we're breaking down the science behind thunder. Why it happens, why it rumbles, and why it sometimes sounds like a giant bowling alley in the sky. So, if you've ever counted the seconds between a lightning flash and a thunderclap, stick around as we crack open the secrets of the storm right here on Explaining Everything. All right, let's get one thing straight. Thunder is not just some random sky growl. It's actually the sound of lightning. Yep, every time you hear thunder, you can bet there's a flash of lightning that came first. But why? Well, to understand thunder, we first need to talk about lightning. Lightning is basically nature's way of saying, I have too much electricity, take some. During a storm, clouds build up a charge like a giant static electricity generator in the sky. When that charge becomes too much to handle, it looks for a way to discharge. And that's when we get lightning. It's a high voltage tantrum that can be hotter than the surface of the sun. Yes, you heard that right. A bolt of lightning can reach temperatures of about 30,000 degrees Celsius. That's five times hotter than our friendly neighborhood star. And what happens when air suddenly gets that hot? When lightning strikes, it superheats the air around it in an instant. We're talking milliseconds. The air expands so fast that it creates a shock wave, basically a tiny explosion in the sky. And that's what we hear as thunder. Think of it like popping a balloon, but instead of a gentle pop, it's a sound so powerful it can be heard from miles away. Nature is dramatic like that. Sometimes thunder sounds like a sharp crack. Other times it rumbles like a giant bowling ball rolling across the heavens. Why? Well, it's all about distance and echoes. If you're close to the lightning strike, the thunder might be short and sharp, kind of like nature slapping its hands together. But when the sound waves travel through clouds, hills and buildings, they bounce around, stretch out and turn into that long, rolling rumble. Basically, it's an echo on steroids. Ever noticed how you see lightning before you hear thunder? That's because light travels way faster than sound. Light zips along at about 300,000 kilometers per second, while sound slogs along at a mere 340 meters per second. So when lightning strikes, the flash reaches your eyes almost instantly, but the sound takes its sweet time. The farther you are from the strike, the longer the delay. In fact, you can even estimate how far away a storm is by counting the seconds between the flash and the boom. Every three seconds equals about one kilometer. So if you count to six, that lightning was two kilometers away. If you count to zero, well, you should probably be indoors. Good news! Thunder is just sound, so it can't physically hurt you. Bad news, if you're close enough for it to be painfully loud, you're probably in a very bad spot. 
a thunderclap directly overhead can be louder than a rock concert, reaching up to 120 decibels. That's loud enough to hurt your ears. But unless you're some kind of storm chaser standing in the middle of an open field, you'll be fine. Lightning, on the other hand, is a different story. Thunder doesn't always sound the same. And that's because not all lightning strikes are created equal. The size, shape, and path of the lightning bolt all affect how the thunder sounds. A long bolt, more rumbling. A short, choppy bolt. A quick, sharp bang. If the lightning forks into multiple paths, you might even hear overlapping bursts of thunder, making it sound even more intense. It's like nature's version of surround sound. Can you have thunder without lightning? Nope! Thunder is literally the sound of lightning. If you hear thunder but don't see lightning, it just means the flash was hidden by clouds or you blinked at the wrong time. But rest assured, they always come as a pair, like peanut butter and jelly or bad weather and cancelled plans. Ever had thunder so loud it felt like the walls were vibrating? That's because sound waves can actually shake solid objects if they're powerful enough. Thunder's low frequency waves can cause windows, walls, and even the ground to tremble. And if you've ever had a pet during a thunderstorm, you'll know they don't appreciate that one bit. They might not understand the science, but they sure know that big, loud noises are scary. So, to sum it up, thunder is just the sound of air rapidly expanding after being superheated by lightning. It's nature's way of saying that was one powerful bolt. It's loud. It's dramatic, and it's completely harmless. Unless, of course, you're holding a full cup of coffee when it strikes. In that case, consider it an involuntary caffeine sacrifice. Next time you hear a thunderclap, you can impress or annoy your friends by explaining exactly what's happening up there. And if the sound still makes you jump, just picture the clouds having an intense game of sky bowling. Stay curious, stay safe, and remember, lightning comes first. So if you see the flash, get inside before the grand finale. That's it for today's electrifying topic. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more fun facts, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.